Before you can begin to lip sync, you'll need to draw the eight mouth shapes for your character. The Toon Boom Animate User Guide offers several mouth chart guides beginning on page 575. When you're ready to import, go to File, Import, Sound, navigate to the file where your voice file is, and select Open. Your file should appear on a layer by itself. When you were drawing your eight mouth shapes, you may have noticed that they're, by default, assigned a number here in the library. You're going to come down here to the timeline and select and rename each drawing with a letter. Pressing Control D opens the dialog box that lets you do that. You'll label the first seven drawings A through G, and you'll label the last drawing X. And the reason you're doing this is so you can map the mouth shapes to the sound using the automated lip sync feature. And you can see up here in the library now that the uh, mouth shapes have been renamed. Now one thing, if you notice that there are still some labeled with a number and some don't have the uh, letter even though you've renamed them, the, the display there needs to upgrade itself. You just uh, change the focus back and forth a couple of times and it'll straighten out. Now you're going to right click any frame in the sound layer and click Lip Sync, Auto Lip Sync Detection. And a little panel will appear for a moment and then you're going to go back in and clip, click Lip Sync, Map Lip Sync and you'll get another panel with the source layer where your sound is on top and the destination layer where your mouth shapes are on the bottom. Make sure you pick the layer holding your mouth shapes as the destination layer. Once you're sure everything is OK, click OK and you'll see uh, every frame on the mouth shape layer has been assigned a spot uh, corresponding to the sound layer. And the next thing to do is take it for a spin. Now first, you want to make sure that your sound icon up here is clicked and your scrubbing icon as well. You're going to need that. Also make sure your sound layer is unlocked because this is the lock for that sound layer. Now let's see what we have. Let's make a cartoon voice. Let's make a cartoon voice. All right. Let's make a cartoon voice. I usually find that I have to tweak this a bit, especially if I've um, used Audacity to alter the pitch or the tempo. And you can make these adjustments a number of ways. I'll show you my particular method. I start at the end of a phrase and work my way towards the beginning, and I pick out the consonants first. Not for any reason that I can articulate. Uh, it just seems to be easier to break the sounds down that way, at least for me. So I'll start with the last word here. I hope you can hear this. And I'm hearing the V sound right here. And that's made with uh, this, this mouth shape here. Okay, and right after the V sound, usually you want this one. That's better. There's an M sound here, and I make that with the mouth closed symbol. Okay. 
I don't know how well you guys can see this with the screen capture software. The, the frame rate's really low and the sound quality isn't great here. So what I'm going to do is I will publish this out and then post it. Let's make a cartoon voice. Let's make a cartoon voice. Okay, so this is the last of our three-part tutorial on creating cartoon voices for use in Toon Boom Animate. In part one, we talked about the equipment, hardware, and software that we would be using to make our cartoon voices. In part two, using the free open source sound editing program Audacity, we recorded, edited, optimized, and applied a little bit of special effects to our cartoon voice. And here in part three, we imported the phrase into Toon Boom Animate and applied the automated lip sync feature to our mouth drawings and published a preview file, which I will post a link to um, along with the source files. I hope the tutorials were helpful and thanks for watching. Thank you.